Now, Moxie, come on over here, because I've got a special announcement to make at this point. To anyone watching at home, who remembers this? The next Blue Peter presenter as chosen by you, the CBBC viewers, is... <laughs> Lindsay! Oh, that was the moment in 2013. Uh, on Blue Peter, you decide on CBBC that I was announced as the winner and the brand new 36th presenter of Blue Peter. And I've got to say, even looking back, it makes me teary and upset because that truly was the best day of my whole life. And since then, I've made so many dreams come true. I've flown hot air balloons. I've faced my fear of sharks. Uh, I've crossed the Irish Sea in an inflatable hamster ball. I've done a ski race with the Swiss Army. The list goes on. I really have made memories and friendships that will stay with me for the rest of my life. Which is why it's a real bittersweet moment to tell you that after eight years and over 400 episodes, I'm actually gonna be hanging up my Blue Peter badge and leaving the show at the end of this summer. I've been lucky enough to do some amazing things on this show and I am fully aware that I'm the only presenter in history to have been chosen for by the people that actually matter to this show the most and that's you guys at home the young people watching and that's something I'll take with me honestly for the rest of my life so thank you guys at home for giving me my dream job. It's very real hearing you say that here in studios but <laughs> um, don't worry Lindsay's here for a few more weeks and we've got plenty of time to give you the most incredible send-off because obviously you deserve it. It's going to be on Thursday the 15th of July so set your alarms because it's going to be unbelievable. It is and we want to make that program a very massive celebration of Lindsay's eight years on the show so we're asking you to send in anything a card a picture or a model and we're going to fill the studio with it ready for Lindsay's big send-off and I know I speak for the three of us when I say that we absolutely love working with you and I hope you know that you'll always be a part of the BP extended family now and forever Oh, I love you, Ads. I love you all, actually. Uh, and it, it is a celebration, like Marksy said, and I've still got a few weeks on the show and we are going to make them epic. We have so many good episodes and programmes and really exciting things coming up. And actually, when I think back on my time here at Blue Peter, there is one memory and one moment that really, really sticks out for me. When you first met your first handsome co-star, Adam Bills. <laughs> No, it's actually not that, Adam. Ah, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> it's the moment back in 2018 where I got to fly with the RAF Red Arrows. It was truly just a once in a lifetime incredible experience. And the Blue Peter bosses have said we can look back on it again. So enjoy. The RAF's aerobatic display team, the Red Arrows, are some of the most iconic aeroplanes on the planet. <laughs> Flying through the air at around 500 miles per hour, their incredible displays, filled with skill and bravery, capture the imagination of millions around the world. This is Tanagra Air Base in Greece, and it's right here that the Red Arrows are taking part in a five-week training programme to prepare them to take to the skies for their amazing displays. I'm meeting team leader Martin, known as Red One. What does it actually take to be a Red Arrow? Well, I've been in the Air Force for 18 years now, and I've been on the Royal Air Force Red Arrows team for four years, and that's only a small chunk of my flying career. I think the best way to see the dedication and focus that's required is if we take you flying this afternoon, and you can actually see what it's like inside the aircraft. I'm so excited. I, I, I think off. it's going to be the best day of my whole life. That's right, I'm not just here for a chat. I'm actually going to fly with the Red Arrows. To be here, about to get in that seat and give it a try for myself is just the most amazing feeling. I'm so excited. Before I take to the skies, I'm invited to watch a display from the ground with Wing Commander Andrew.
literally at points hundreds of feet away from these guys. They are right above our heads. It's, it's genuinely the most spectacular thing I've ever seen. So now you've seen it, it's your turn now. I am beyond excited. But before I fly, I need to be assessed by the doctor to check my body can handle the demands of the flight. That's lovely. You're medically cleared to fly. We just need to make sure that all the rest of the equipment fits OK. Next, it's time to meet my pilot, Adam. Red 10. We've got the stick in the middle, so you have controls in the back and the front. So at some point when we go flying, I will give you control and I'll show you that I'm hands off and you can fly the jet for yourself. What? You happy with that? Uh. I cannot believe this. For a few seconds, Adam's going to let me take control of the jet in the air. There's just time for our pre-flight briefing while the engineers make the final checks to the aircraft. Now I'm starting to get really nervous. This really is once in a lifetime. This is the film, this is the moment that I'll talk about for the rest of my life. Let's do it. I actually can't believe this is happening. My heart is going so fast. I feel quite sick. Look at that. Wow. OK, you all set? All set. I'm ready. Let's go, man. <laughs> We begin our takeoff, but then... Teleporting. Uh, two aircraft have aborted and will remain on the runway. There's a small problem with the aircraft in front. For safety reasons, we have to stop our takeoff. Okay. But this is Blue Peter. We don't just give up. Thanks to the hard work of the Red Arrows team, I'm given one last chance to fly, and I'm not letting this pass me by. Here we go. Take two. This is it. We are off the ground. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Adam starts us off with a banking turn. Here we go. We're on our side. Whoa! <laughs> OK, so we're doing about 420 miles an hour at the moment. 420 miles an hour with the Red Arrows. And then... <gasps> the bird! It's just down there! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> That's the red arrow! <laughs> Check out my view! After flying in formation, Adam breaks away so he can show me just what this jet can do. OK, three, two, one, here we go. Whoa! <laughs> Next, it's a loop. That is amazing, we're upside down! Oh, wow! And just when I thought this couldn't get any better, Adam offers me the controls. You have control? I have control. Oh, my goodness. Am I doing that? You are, yeah. I'm flying a red arrow. I'm flying a red arrow. You actually know how. Yeah. Oh, I'm fully flying a red arrow. Then, incredibly, Adam asks if I want to roll the plane. No. Yeah, easy. No. Whenever you're ready, just put the stick all the way to the left. No. Yep. Three, two, all the way. All the way. Ah! I'm doing that! <laughs> that was so good! Awesome. I just did my first one out of roll by myself. Right, I have control. Yeah, okay. I think that's a good idea. Well, I'll give you a break now. Yeah. All this excitement is starting to get to me. But I'll never get to do this again, so I'm going to make the most of it. Oh, wow! Oh, my goodness, look at that! After the most incredible flight, it's time to come back down to Earth. Coming into land. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness.
goodness. Honestly, what an experience. That hands down, that was the best thing I have ever done in my life. That was amazing. I, I, will, I will genuinely talk about that for the rest of my life. I'm so lucky. Oh. Even though my flight is over. Ooh, I've landed, yes. The memories will last a lifetime. That. that was the best day ever. Thank you to the Rad Arrows. Thanks to Blue Peter for letting me do that. It was amazing. Oh, wow. Honestly, <laughs> it looked incredible. Hey, it's Lindsay here. Subscribe to the Blue Peter YouTube channel right now. Check out our playlist, like this video, and if you want to watch brand new BP, head to BBC iPlayer.